Got him. Oh, Dan. Whoa. Tokyo. Oh, yeah. Tokyo. Big one, too. Whoa. That's a good one. That's a big one, dude. God, this is unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Dude, dude, talk about that rig. Talk about that rig. I want you to see this. Look at this. You want to talk about a game changer? You want to talk? I'm serious. I say that yeah, word a lot. This is a real game changer. And look at this, they're elbow to elbow. What is their salmon run going on? Hi there. How you doing today? Yes, sir. I can get you right here. How's okay, that, that right. sounds great. Appreciate Four it. Four people? Yes. Be 12 bucks. Okay, Dan, let me get it. Let me get it. You sure? Yeah, I, I get it. Please. Yeah, they were really getting them yesterday. Yes, were sir. Bass like crazy, a few walleyes. Nice. Oh shit, you're gonna have to get it. Sorry. I got no <laughs> <laughs> No cash! I got it. I'll pay you back, Dan, I swear. <laughs> I promise. Look at that. Look at that. Not a single single dollar bill in there. But I have a whole lot of fishing licenses. Look at all the fishing licenses in there. <laughs> go to the site by the creek, right down there by the creek. That's the shallowest. Then you just go out from the deck to the creek and the point of the creek where the two cars are. Wow. Talk about service. <laughs> you don't have to paint a little box or anything. One, two, three, jump! Just talking, man. This is pretty cool. You know, fishing. You're normally thinking of big boats, big bass boat, big saltwater boat. Dude, it doesn't have to be that complicated. It doesn't. Absolutely not. No. Park right here. Walk out in waders in the river. It's yeah. cool. It's cool because there's more and more people fishing from the bank too, which, which is neat, especially in other countries. Yeah. A lot of Rapala stuff that we make is for being mobile and efficient. Yeah. And. It's your bass boat's on your back. <laughs> Dude, I, I love it. I mean, this is how I started fishing as a kid, you know, wading, fishing the banks, a backpack of rod, so it feels good to be doing this. Dude, this is, we pulled up and I freaked out because the scenario, the steam, it's dead of winter, there's snow everywhere, but it's open water here. Where are we? Tell me a little bit about what this deal is. So we're on the Mississippi River, central Minnesota. Wait, spell Mississippi for me? M-I-S-S-I-S-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 we are here on the Mississippi, and yeah, there's a hot water discharge upstream, and it keeps this, this whole bank open for several miles, and the fish are aggressive, which is super. I haven't made wow. a cast in like over two months. Wow. I've been ice fishing through a little hole. I'm excited. This will be fun. So mostly everything right now is frozen, solid ice, but this is open water and the fish will still bite. Absolutely, yeah. No, I think we're gonna have a fun day. We'll catch them on swim baits and grubs and shadow wraps, well, maybe some crankbaits, maybe, maybe even a top water. Dude, I, I can't sit here and watch these guys catch them anymore. I gotta, I gotta join the crowd out here and catch a couple. Let's jump in. All right. <laughs> Look at that thing. Well, we worked with you and designed it. Dude. And it's it's the most versatile rig Dude. I've ever seen in my life. Did you make Okay. From punching mats to Florida to fishing a swim bait for smallmouth, it, it's the it's the go-to deal. So what it's, is? It? There's people watching us right now. Like, what the hell is a Tokyo rig? To, what, what, explain the setup, though. It's it's a swivel, it's a welded ring, a hook, and a and a wire dropper where the weight is. So like, a, if you're punching it and you get a bite, you don't pop their mouth with a big weight. You get incredible hookup percentage. Yeah. And as far as the swim bait application, this fall I was fishing this rig with an ounce in 32 feet of water and it was glued to the bottom. Just 
drumming a three inch swim bait along in 32 feet of water. Dude, Even our swinging rugby head, you can't do that. But. And here we are in shallow, cold river water, and you're still catching them with the same bait. It's a nice fish. Two and three quarter, almost three pounds, maybe? Yeah. Right around three pounds. Beauty. Dude. That is so cool. How many Look casts did you make? How many casts did you that make? Was probably four or five casts. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Dude, is that not insane, dude? I mean, literally, we've been out here five minutes. Dan, you're making me want to switch colors, bro. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, the white, I do so, oh shoot, Whoa. you got. Right, you just sit you in your balls. Of <laughs> Dude, I just had one, another one plastic there, not get it. It's so weird. That is that really, one that hit really far. Weird. He wasn't too far. Big out. one, big one, I said balls. Yeah. Big one, big one. No, it's a good one now. Balls. Wow. I'm about five cast in. Caught my first smallmouth. Looks like a looks like a dwarf compared to Dan's, but look at that thing. Beautiful, dude. Look at that. Look at the coloring on that. God, I love them smallmouth. Watch this. Dude. 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 Oh God. <laughs> no, it's not a big one. It's a good one, though. <laughs> I'll just catch all the little trouser trout. You guys catch the big ones. I'm a little trouser trout. Get me. I want to switch, though. I see a lot of these. Looks like minnows. Looks like a lot of minnows out there. This is Berkeley Powerbait Max Scent. This is the flatworm. It's all it is. It's just a little, look at it. It's four inch bait, flat side on it. It's got a little spade tail. It's great on a drop shot. But it's great on the jig head too. Look at this. That's all it is. A VMC. Uh, just a little jig head, a little mushroom style head. And I'll thread that on. Here's the deal. I always want the flat side down. I always want the flat side down. Because as it falls with the flat side down, it's going to have a little glide to it. And uh, the other thing is if you look at it, it's a laminate. Naturally in the environment, Bait fish have a lighter belly and a darker back. So I always want to match the hatch. I want to mimic the forage. So I want my darker back on the top. I want my lighter belly on the bottom. That's a big one, dude. Oh my God, no. See the color change though? You see how quick it was? That was a big one. See what happened here. Nothing, just came off. Nothing you could do about that. Dude, this is, I, I seriously, I'm so glad this is being caught on camera. Because it's hard to, you know, dude, how many times people say, does color matter? Color doesn't matter. Dude, it is, it's undeniable when you match what they want. I was throwing green pumpkin and I had like one little bite. I switched to this more bait fish natural pattern, white with some gold in it. Instantly had two bites. In, I mean, instantly, dude. Big one. Wait a minute. Oh, Mike's hooked up. Wait a minute. Oh God, it's a giant. Oh my God. Please stay on there on jerk bait. Ah. 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 Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this? Wait a minute. <laughs> Look at that. That's not the kind I want. Got me a tooth right there. Look at that thing. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Man, I thought that was a big smallmouth. It's just an old tooth. Wow, that scared me. Whew. There's a big one. Oh, 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 oh! Drop shot, drop shot, Dan. Oh, ah, sweet. A big one, a big one. Oh man, don't you come off of there. Ah. 
I got waves too. I got waves. I feel like I feel like I'm in the Pacific Ocean. Oh no, it's not that big. It's a good one though. <laughs> I swear, every time I get bite, I think it's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> I did get bit really quick on the drop shot though. Yeah, that's really interesting. Get it off the bottom. That's uh, you know, finding the colors key, but the deal with the drop shot, Dan, that VMC pencil pencil weight, tungsten pencil drop shot weight. Yeah. Letting that bait stay off the bottom, a little more visible, you know? Yeah. That's a good one. And that hook, that hook is, you can't that beat it. That hook is unbelievably key. Look at that thing. Nice, pretty, smallmouth two pounder. I wanna show you the way I'm rigging this, cause this blows a lot of people away when I tell them, when I tell them I rig it like this. Most people nose hook a drop shot bait, but I'm using this hook, it's a, a VMC, finesse Nico hook and it's it's got that Nico shape which is a hybrid shape and it's got a little keeper barb on it and if you look at what I'm doing with that bait I'm actually threading it on Dan you know the deal you're threading it on and if you look at it the hook stands straight out on the top and you get such a bigger bite than you would with say a little number two or number you know four drop shot hook um, so I'm using the fin VMC finesse Nico I'm threading it using a, a Powerbait Maxent flatworm, short leader, just getting it off the river bottom. It's a quick bite, bro. I'm pretty excited. That was a quick bite. Go in, Ike. Go in, Ike. Go in, Ike. Hey. For information on the product and gear used in this show, go to MikeIconelli.com and follow me on my social feeds, at MikeIconelli. And if you want to help grow the sport of fishing, get kids involved. Go to theikefoundation.org to figure out information on how you could help get involved in getting kids fishing.